Give me that. Could you give me a hand here? What? And miss watching an expert at work? It's all at McWhorter's fault. Oh, so now it's McWhorter's fault. Ever since he took over that blasted livery, I've been having nothing but problems with my horses. Look at that shoe, it's half off. Well, while you two decide which one's the master, I'm gonna fill this cantina. You will be finished before nightfall. No, please! No! Nobody steals from me. You got it back? All of it. Please. You spilled some. I know. There is a few coins missing. So nothing. Comprende? Good. Stop right there. Drop your guns. Stand away from him. You. Are you crazy? As soon as you're done. What happened on the trail? Like the cowboy said, I hired him and his partner as my bodyguards. They got greedy and stole from me. I shoot one of them. You want to charge the other? No. I got my money. Justice has been done. You can release him. The minute you're fit to travel, I want you out of town. What are you staring at? I am grateful for this wound. It has allowed me to meet the most beautiful doctor I have ever seen. Don't waste your time on flattery. I know all about what you did to the Marshall's family. The Marshall is a friend of yours. Yes, he is. And what did your friend tell you about me? You killed his wife and his little girl when he had a ranch near Mexico. Did he tell you about my son? How he rode into Mexico like a bandit and killed my son, Mauro? After you killed his family. His family was squatting on my land. You murdered a woman and a little girl. 
It was within my rights. Within your rights? Did your marshal tell you how Mauro was full of life? How the girls adored him? How his mother still wears black? Have him tried. Use the law. In Mexico? <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Down there, he's more powerful than the Queen of England. What about witnesses? Witnesses? You just fall off the apple cart, Bennett? Witnesses won't talk against Don Carlos. He's got them eaten out of his hand with this judges, bishops, officials, you name it. No. I'm the only one who can avenge my family. Me. You do, and you're no better than he is. Put it behind you, Jack. Put it behind me? What about my wife, my daughter? Seven riders arrived in the middle of the night and shot them dead in their beds. I came home to be greeted by their lifeless bodies. I can't put that behind me. Corporal Bennett, I have come to collect my... Put it away, Jack. What do you want? That is an urgent matter I have to tend to. A time limit on a claim for a gold field up north. I come to collect my property. You want them? Corporal, that man is a thief. And you're a murderer. That's enough. This item was seized on his side of the border. The marshal's responsible for it. Woodpecker here plays it by the book. Me? I'm a little more flexible. So why don't you cross that line there? And we'll talk about it. What are you doing in town? We weren't supposed to meet here. I ran into some difficulties. I can see. You didn't tell me it was a marshal. The price has doubled. Are you afraid of a lawman? <laughs> no. But it means I'll have to lay low for a long spell. And money makes that less boring. You will get double. Don't worry. Only make him suffer. What are you waiting for? The money. My word is better than gold, senor. Not to me. Money first. That was our arrangement. You have until sundown. Do you want Clive to throw you in jail? You won't have to. All Don Carlos wants is his precious money. And when he crosses into my territory, that ain't all he's gonna get. And you become a murderer. He lost a loved one too, Jack. His son. What happened with his son was a mistake, Marie. I was after Don Carlos when his boy tried to backshoot me. I had no choice. You're sounding like you're on his side. Buy a drink, Marshal? No. Fill up my friend's coffee, could you, darling? I ain't got some time to kill. I'm waiting for a job to come through. What exactly is it you do, mister? A stalker. Been a stalker. I'm an accountant. I take care of people's affairs. Straighten them out, as it were. So, Oh, yes. I go from town to town, from one employer to the next. 
mine owners, ranchers, money lenders. Even worked for the owner of a body house once. I envy people like you. One move, free. You're not free, Marshal? Nope. I ain't nowhere as near free. What are you doing here? For your services, senorita. No, thank you. Por favor. Please. Although I suppose the only place I'm going is the grave. If you leave town, that won't happen. I can't. It is a matter of honor. There's nothing honorable about murder. Who said anything about killing? The marshal has my money, money that belongs to our family. I can't live without that. If you stay here, you may die before you see it. <laughs> then I will get my revenge from the grave when he is hanged for my murder. Adios, senorita. You have no right. I could jail you while I fully investigate that shooting. It could take some time. you out of border town. That's blackmail. Call it what you like. But the simple fact is, you either leave now or you're incarcerated. It's your choice. Well, Corporal, a sensible man would choose the first. May I check with the doctor before I leave? I'll saddle my horse. So are you staying long? Probably not. It seems my employer is insolvent for the time being. What, he went bankrupt or something? What happens all the time in these parts? Businesses flourish, but they collapse just as quickly. So I guess you won't be doing the job for a minute. I don't work for free, Marshal. No need to. In my line of work, there's never a shortage of jobs to do. I'm, uh... Very much in demand. Your employer from around these parts? Goodbye. south of the Rio Grande? My work is taking me there on occasion. Me too. Sir, this came for you. Thank you, darling. Thanks for your company. knows nothing about it. Then who? Marie, you fool. I'm a fool for trying to stop a murder. No, but there's a man waiting on that money in the saloon. Now I gotta kill him. Or him, me. Stop here. This road will take you to Fort Whoop Up. You can get further directions there. Do us the pleasure of staying away from Bordertown. 
Off your horse, Corporal. I'm sorry, senor. A man is performing some business for me in Border Town. I hate to see you interrupting. I'll put a helping hand. Shh! Get out of there! Come on, Jack. It happens to the best of us. Move! Get down! Get us out of here. Vámonos. Stop! I have no quarrel with you, Corporal. Let me go. Give yourself up, Don Carlos. Come on out of there. Let's call it a day, Marshal. Men like you and me should be friends. We were getting pretty friendly there, weren't we? But saloon friendly, right? I've met some of my best friends in saloons. Sure. Gold sometimes does that to friendships. Changes it, if you know what I mean. Right, friend. It does things. Marie! Which way did he go? The marshal is already dead by now, Corporal. Go home and bury him. Drop it.
Sorry my past dirty your class. Think it's finally over? Nope. He had plenty of kin and friends. You know, I was 25 years old when I married Juanita. Her smile alone washed everything away I saw in the Civil War. And along comes Sarah Ann and, well, Jack Craddock could have up and died and gone straight to heaven right there and then. She would have been a pretty woman now. You know what's strange? Knowing he's dead don't seem to change things much. My heart still falls every time I think of that. Jack, could you leave me for a spell? Thank you.